JFA finals here. Stiff one. 12 boys. South Launceston would probably unfortunately call them the raging favourite after a dominant season undefeated. Up against Prospect, who finished with nine wins for the season. They got belted by 70 points in the second semi, leading up to this final. So Prospect losing that game to South. And most of the better goal kickers are sitting in the South team. They've built of most teams. Nathan Warren, Aaron Roberts in the commentary box. We're a couple minutes early for this game. Nathan, I hope Prospect on a big ground can certainly be competitive. Yeah, let's hope so. Like, uh, South are a very, very good side. So um, I'm excited to see how they... Um, how Prospect can match up with them. So the grand final is away on the large oval surface of York Park. Division 2 grand final played and finished half an hour ago. It was a great game of football with Deloraine eventually outnumbering and outweighing East and won by a kick and a half in the end. A lot of players around for this football at the moment. The parlor in there, he's on his knees, and the umpire's going to see. But good thing is, ground has dried out, Nathan, and we should be in for a, a top contest. Yeah, it dried out about halfway through that last game. It, um, it was quite dewy in the morning, but it's cracking out. So, Max probably holding the ball. Did he get his toe to it? And a little scrag off the ball, not called by the umpire. Richmond there, now loose again for West. Might get it again here, West. Misses him, and he goes to Crawford. As we mentioned, South with a lot of dominant forwards who can kick goals. And this could be the first one. I think it's not touched. I think he's claiming it's touched. He might go the referral, but South are away. I thought I saw him get a finger on that, but obviously not. So, um, well yeah, done, um, South. The umpire was, it looked like he was right there. I think it was Tyler Young. I just missed after all the excitement, but it may have been touched. But there the umpire's in best position. The prospect defender seemed out of it. I touched it. Stephen Silvani like all those years ago. Uh, Harry Taylor started well there last night's um, best and fairest winner so congratulations Harry. So started well um, yeah, hands on the ball early. The over 130 odd goals between the Cottoms too. Milo yes. and this team at Aya in the 14 girls tomorrow. What a performance by their family and the dads down to the boundary line involved in the coaching of this 12s team. Prospect trying to get some, some numbers around it. Lewis is in there. Now it's out to Hedger. South will repel. So an early bit of belief here. That's a, a great mark by Campbell. He goes out a little wider. He's trying to find some lateral ball movement early, but the pressure at the moment from South, you can see that that effort from them is, is really high. Shepard nicely across. It's a decent handle to bounce the football, but now he's lost possession of it. That was good on Freeland, the captain for South. And just knocked out of bounds was Gopala. And we'll have a throw-up. So, I mean, interesting, Nathan. What do you think? Obviously, Prospect have been dominant throughout the season. Haven't lost a game. Won by South. lots. South won by 70 points in the lead-up game. What a Prospect. Well, what does Prospect do? How do they try and stay in it? Well, I, I suppose, like you said, on the big ground, it's a, obviously South are very good by foot. So if, if, if Prospect can sort of nullify that a little bit, they're, they're in for every chance. We saw in the last game, Surge Football got them across the line. So... Um, Let's see what Prospect can, can bring. That's probably holding change. the ball. That's one example of what Prospect can do. They can apply some pressure. Yeah. Wonderful tackle there by Baker. He's a soft halfback. He, he decides to go out wide. He That's a nice it. little kick. I don't mind that one. That's good to Harris. He's tight on the boundary line. Harris drives it up towards half forward. It's a little too easy. That's a, a little chip ball. He's like to run field pot at ground level field pot. He gets a rush kick away up towards half forward. That's a nice little jump at the football. It's been now falls to ground by Cotton. Turns it around the corner does young Cotton. 55 goals I think for the season for him. Now that pressure really starts to come from the South South Bulldogs as they keep coming at them. Quick inside forward 50. Over the corner it goes. The right fist coming across the top. Freeland in there again. Wraps his arms around that defender. Ball at ground level for Richmond. He's got three or four South players to beat. And eventually the weight of numbers. And finally the Hawks get a few players around the ball. Quick snap by West. Back in now towards Crawford. And they've got their second. Frenetic footy from South Bonnie. Just pressure, pressure, pressure. And in the end... Yeah, they, way too much. They just couldn't get it out far enough prospect, so they just were just trying to get it out in the wide space where they could possibly get some run on the ball, but just the, the frontal pressure and the the tenacity of South sort of just, just moved it forward for them. 
they hunted, they hunted very effectively and able to get our second goal on the board. So Crawford with a goal and with a goal as well. We've got the circle on the other side for this, so we're going to swap back and forth. We'll leave the middle of this very important piece of real estate alone for <laughs> some finals coming up for the NTFA, potentially even a, or at least a TSL of some sort final, maybe a grand final. Grand final. Maybe. Be a good matchup, Kingborn North Donny in a final. That's a rush ball out towards half forward. A good contest is there's that pressure off the ball, that the composure from south with their ability to get numbers around. It's going to be a really defensive type of game at the moment. That's brilliant. Work by Freeland. His kicks hasn't favoured his teammate. A nice defensive mark taken. And the run on here from Harris. Good from Harris. This is good from Prospect early, Nathan. Yeah. They're trying to He's work He's just got ball. nothing to go to now, though. This is where they might break down a little bit. So maybe up the line's the option. Boom. Luckily what he does. Hasn't got our defensive 50 at the moment. South just continually pressure the rush. Ball comes back in, arms up in the air was Campbell. It's been pinched here by Freeland. Gets the ball wide again. Quick shot on goal, and they've got three early. So that kick from Prospect there, that just needs to go long and wide and at least at least get a stoppage, get it across the boundary line, outside 50, but they just kept it in, in Bulldogs territory. And again, it goes over their head for a goal. Well, a very good start here for the Bulldogs. They're away in the grand final. Prospect to... Yet to get a clearance here and yet to move it past the halfway line. Look at that one movement, but let's see what they structure up in the middle of the game. It's got some reasonable players on the ball, does Prospect. They've got to find a way for maybe someone like Hedger to get a few goals. Yeah, well, Pruitt, Pruitt um, polled the votes last night in the best and fairest, so I'd like to see him get amongst the thick of it. Once again... South Donny with a centre clearance. Murphy with the handball. Easily pushed off it was Richmond. Second time was good from Richmond. Might have just touched the turf. The umpire said that was okay. So Hartley goes wide. It's good from Hartley. Advantage here to the Bulldogs. The ball can be won here. They've got a player on the outside of the pack. There's a nice little scoop down from Young and steady. That's a great kick from Young. Good pressure. Coming over the top. That's great work there by Lewis. Gets out the handball. Finds his mate in Durkin. One again by the goal kicker, Kopala. Holding his position really well was Blair for prospect. But the kick's just not going to his teammates. It's rushed and under pressure. And throwing his weight around was Hartley. There's finally some numbers coming from Prospect. Quick ball out by Young. It's been chopped off by Marshall. Ball's been juggled once or twice. Pruitt tries to win it. The handball's been stolen by Cameron. It's the only different style of game now that the ball's dried out, isn't it, Nathan? It is. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's just um, Prospect getting their hands on it. They're just handballing their way through it. I'd just like to see him get, on, get a bit of surge mentality, gain some territory. Well, here's a chance now. It's been picked out by Richmond. Now they've lost it again. It's gone back to Young. He's had some touches early. Just a couple of kicks at the moment. It's a little nervy, and Blair's got it. So it's been a good couple of minutes here. They've just held their own Prospect. They just need to find an avenue forward. So he just needs to keep coming wide here. Probably they've got numbers inside Bulldogs, so this could get cut off. Yeah, Lewis's option was dangerous. Attacking side, maybe that's what the coach wants him to do. Baker was pushed off a little bit too easy. He's going to go back again. The kick comes off the ground. Young, busy. Another one who's busy is Richmond for prospect. Pruer just belts it up towards the team's half-forward line. Race on. Gates versus Edwards. Neither wins that one. They can hold it up here. Be a good result. We're going to have a ball up. Nearly inside 50 for them. <laughs> yeah, we've got the stats. The <laughs> stats, stats person. Yeah, next door and Ryan Kuzer. Yeah, Ryan Kuzer from AFL Taz. He's doing some stats for us. To, well, I mean, we did quite like Wilders' stats, but we do believe that some of the metrics around them <laughs> and attention to detail just 
it was a bit of grey it was, area. It was, it was more about, it was more about the excitement of yeah. stats than the actual validity of them. It's in the middle, but thanks anyway. He's going to be on commentary with me in, a, in the next game, so looking forward to hearing. Probably was most, one of the more famous football people in northern Tassie at the moment after one winning Community Coach of the Year did. for all of Australia. What a, what a result for Will Tatchell. And now it's been a, a clever catch by Cackett. He looks, Nathan, like he's kind of a shot. Milo Cotton, yes. Sorry, it is Milo. I've got to get my, I've got my binoculars it's today. Got I've got my binoculars. And he's got not the legs on this one. It's gone towards the pocket. And it's dribbled out of bounds. The well, prospect got in their territory a bit there, but they just, um, South, they set up really well, and they're a well-coached side and um, structurally structure up. You can't beat intensity, can you, at the footy? No. Regardless of what age, and I think at this age, if you've got intensity at the ball and a little bit of speed, the skill and the techniques, not as important as it might be as you start to go up a level. That's a nice little bit of work. Second time Lewis has been good amongst the contest. Good athlete is Cameron. Gets the ball around. Handballs the ball off. Balls up oh. towards half forward. What a grab. Superb by Young. Nice well, composure by Harry Taylor. And the, the thing with Harry, go either side. Like I've seen him. He's, he's just as good on his left as he is his right. You were mentioning so. you said to his dad, Ant, which, which foot does he kick yeah, with? Yeah, I texted his dad and I said, what foot does Harry kick with? He said, right. And I said, well, he's just as good on his left. So, yeah, which is a great skill to have. So Young within 25 metres. Looks like he's got the distance. And he he's also got the accuracy. That's a good result up. Terrific mark. And that's his second. Fine start here for Prosper, for I should say for the Bulldogs. Four straight 24 accuracy is on their side at the moment. And the problem that Prospect are going to have there, you know, they've obviously been beaten soundly in the in the prelim or whatever the last time they played. So the little demon sits on the shoulder, and they've just got to just got to try and keep himself in the contest as much as they can. And like you said, that that frontal pressure and that tenacity at the player will um, get the ball to ground at least and gain some territory with their kicks. So back in the middle of York Park. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, live stream of this year's NT JFA Grand Finals. Great to be back here at the home of footy in the northern capital. Harris off the ground. Pruill stood up in the tackle, was able to spin his way around. That might nearly be a forward entry from South for Prospect and quite make it. They're grabbing at straws at the moment. Let's see if they can just hold this one up. That's a good kick. Long time under if it was Murphy. There's that quality handball again. Out wide. They're trying to find their teammates in, in a better position. Race on as it goes towards the boundary. Just kept inside play as flung off the footy was young. Eventually it rolls over. So the Andy Density working nicely here. Just keeping a, a few more players around. But the challenge is, is once a kick comes out, Nathan, out of these contests, there's a, a lot of space. There is. But, um... Cameron in the ruck. Tackle laid by Matthews. It's been squirted inside Ford 50. Just pressure building here for South. Freeman's there holding... The ball up. We're still grappling with it. Gopala on the ground. And we'll chuck it in the air. We're around 25 metres out from the south goal. Right. Four pocket. The wonderful sunshine around about 9 or 10 degrees. Freeland with his hand over the top. Blair. Tight on the boundary. Gopala. Quick kick. Slots another. He's second. Lovely finish and a great bit of teamwork in the pocket. Good unselfish play, wasn't it, Nathan? It was. The, um, yeah, they're a well-drilled side. Like they're always looking for that handball, and if it's not on, they'll just get it on, get it on the boot. Um, tough for the the prospect defenders. You know, they're under immense pressure here, and um, yeah, they just yeah, tough for them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, this sort of level, it's the winning. I mean, kids like the winning, the parents like the winning. The reality is, kids like the experience, the opportunity to play Absolutely. on the ground, playing on a ground like this. Yeah, so. 
when you look at why kids play football, winning sits a couple of ranks low than what people probably think and maybe what some volunteers and coaches and parents think. Yeah. The experience is fantastic. They're winning the ball out of the middle again. This is a, an opt- also an opportunity for some of these South players to shine on the, the big stage as a South player down the ground. It looks like Richmond's just got taken off without the football near him and he'll get a free kick off halfback for Prospect. He's looking for Pruer. It goes over the top of him. See, some of these marks have been fantastic. Cameron, again, he goes wide and finds Freeland. Those two taller players for South are linking up particularly well. High ball inside forward, 50. This falls at the feet. Rushed handball comes out. Pressure back on Cameron. And there's a hooter. 15-minute flat quarters here and a good start for South. Five straight, 30. Prospect didn't get an ins- inside 50. Then a couple of goals to... Young, couple of goals to Gopala and Crawford with the other. So good enterprising start, but Prospect holding on, and some of their defenders are, are doing a goal. We'll have a look at it. some of the stats before we have a quick break here. Some of the stats we've got, so South inside 50s are eight, and Prospect unfortunately had none. We, we'll give them an inside 50. We might go past. <laughs> we'll, give, we'll give them one or two. Uh, tackles six to five, so that's pretty even. Uncontested kicks was, was nil all. All right, so I'd just like to see that. And that's maybe somewhere where Prospect can come better if they can just find that open man, if they can get a little bit open on this nice big ground, find that uncontested kick, they can keep control of the ball as much as they can out of South's hands. And our clearances were 5-2 to two South's way. So, um, yeah, tough for Prospect. They did have some better players back there, Hamish Campbell, and I thought and um, he was really good, number 10. And, and Colby Pruer, like I said, if, we can get, if they can get in his hands up forward, they might be a chance. At the moment, he's playing sort of on the ball, Peru, isn't he? He's relying to sort of be around the ball a bit, yeah, though, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, obviously one of their better players, and Harry Taylor, Milo Cottam, Hartley and Freeland for me for, for South Ontario. Yeah, Chucky Cameron as well. I think he's the other one that had a bit of influence. We have a break here. Div 1 grand final, South Ontario. Now, the Ascendant's yearly, five straight, 30 prospect, yet to get on the mark. Second quarter action here. Uh, South with a comprehensive advantage. Let's see what Prospect can do. We were talking off air before. We do have a Mercer. We're just in the 12 boys competition this year due to some of the difference between some of the top teams and bottom teams. Happens now and again throughout. There's always one or two teams that probably move around divisions and play with that. We'll be interested to see because the Mercer rule could be in play. Let's hope it's not. I think it will be. No, let's hope Prospect can oh, put on the board. Absolutely, and I think... Kick out. We're about to kick off for a couple of minutes ahead in this game at the moment, which is nice to see. Hope everyone's loving the tunes by Ryan Kuzer in the at the quarter-time breaks. He's one put together a lovely one, playlist. One of the less glamorous DJs I've ever seen, just quietly, but anyway, we'll, <laughs> we're doing our best to keep things smooth and cool here. Uh, the NTJFA Grand Finals. Straight away, here he goes, Taylor. Taylor. Quality, 
drives long. Inside forward 50 for the Bulldogs. It's been picked. Is that a mark? I think Philpott's going, oh, did I have that? I thought it was touch. The opportunity to score in a couple of seconds has been held up really well. Late was Cackett. Just hells it up. Quick ball rushed out. The players running over the, the top of the footy. Now we've got a bit of a stacks on a meal. And we'll have a ball up. This the class of, of Harry Taylor then of that beautiful clearance out of the middle of the ground. Such an important part of the game. Cack it with the clearance. Lewis runs out of space and then under pressure with his kick. Back on it was Taylor. He kick high back inside forward 50 again. Straight away prospect under immense pressure. Rush ball out by Cackett. Cameron drops the footy. Works its way towards half four. This is pretty good from Prospect. Durkin in there. Eventually, though, back towards Philpot. He'll get onto it first. It's been good so far, Richmond. Probably been one of the better players for Prospect. He's been around quite a few of the contests. Chain of handles from the Bulldogs. They've got a Ford 50 edge strength as that ball's thumped out. Edwards onto it. He's got three dogs to beat. Eventually, he's got too many. It's too hard. It's too much. Free, Who's got the free? Tackle. It's going to be Pot. I should say Pets with it. He's oh. looking for a teammate. He screws it back towards the middle. It's a good kick. Look for a second. It was, was going to go over the top to Freeland. Freeland finally releases the handball, slipping over the last minute. Looking to try and get it out to Hartley. Now it's been worked forward into the pocket. Prospect need to get some numbers around it. Young onto it. Round one way. He might get it back again. Young doesn't screw it around the corner for a behind in the first minor. I, I thought he paid that the other way. I thought he paid a sling tackle, but he didn't. He turned, paid holding the ball. So Let's see what Prospect can do here with a, with a kick in. First, first kick in for the day. I think they want to go long and wide. Yeah, that's what they've done. But and they've got a man out if they can get it to well, The challenge is this next kick. It's okay. Yep. It's been spilt by Hedger. Screws it around a corner trying to find Richmond. Balls out now towards centre wing. Chase on. Down at his knees. Yeah. And a boundary line. Prospect just set up really well behind the ball. They, they, they've they got a spare behind the ball every time. So Prospect will look up and they're just looking at, a, at Bulldogs players. So... Tough to beat structure. Yeah, true. And confidence is a big one, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, it's hit him in the face. Yeah, he's down a little bit too. That's, that's caught young, I reckon. The umpire's just done the right thing and is actually just going to stop play for a second. Yeah, he... So once again, thanks to Buy on Stream for jumping in and doing the coverage of today's NTJ Fake Grand Finals. Buy usually pretty busy at the moment. We've got MPL games. I think I'm pretty sure they're covering. I reckon they're doing some NTFA stuff in the next couple of weeks as well. So, appreciate the support. Absolutely. A couple of players standing up and grappling for the football. Pruitt gets his hands to it first. This little knock on then. Lewis with a bit of run. He's got it up inside forward 50 for the Hawks. Can they find something here to get themselves going? Little handball off to the side. Maybe that's what they need. Just a, a goal to give themselves not just belief but some confidence in the game as Cameron releases but it's going to come back again. Good little passes of play. That's a good kick too. He's looking for Shepard. Nearly holding the ball. Yes. Good from Prospect. Probably a little too far out. So it's Durkin. He looks up, gets it right towards the 15-metre square being worked out now by Butterworth, but it's going to go back to Durkin again. He's actually got some freeze here if he just lowers his eyes. Well, he's going high at the back, looking for it. It just built through Hedges' hands. Need to get some help here and keep this ball it. in. And he's gone. Harry Taylor holding the ball. And I reckon he's got to take two or three steps back. Lewis, I don't reckon he's oh, he's lining it up for a goal. Might as well. Let's see. He's been good, Lewis, too. 
It's going to go deep. Pua juggles. Spolf spills to ground. They're under some pressure here, the dogs. That wouldn't have happened too many times this season. Another pressure ball coming out. And a prospect have another forward entry. Hill in there. Another rush ball. Once again, the numbers still potentially with prospect. They're really pushing everything at the moment. Great body work, though, by Hartley for the ball. Dogs. Caught him down to it. Doesn't get it. Richmond taken without the football. Not called by the umpire. Back on the dirk, and he's had a fine couple of minutes. Richmond again driving in hard. Now back out to Gillo for the Bulldogs. Gets the ball up towards half four. Pets does good. Spins around. Handball's over the top. Keenan in there. Slinging handball out trying to find the running Edwards. Pressure coming from Gillo. Still loose footing. The Dogs finally just with a weight of numbers get another forward entry. Round one player is Freeland. Looks backwards. Fist over the top by Baker. And there's Harris as well, for Prospect. Deep inside there, forward 50 again. Quite disposed of it. That's good pressure, though. Got to be careful, though. West is there for the Dogs. Now support coming from Murford. West trying to go through that crowd. Murford as well. Here comes West again. Marshall looked like he was taken high now by Greece. They've steadied things a bit, Prospect. There's a bit more pressure at the moment, though. Yeah, it was a nice little, nice little build-up here down in their forward 50, and um, there was a couple of times there they could have lowered their eyes and they had some freeze, but they just decided just to bomb it to the top of the square. It's one of those things when you're under pay pressure, off. isn't it? You sometimes end up yeah, going long. Yeah, that's right, and I suppose they think, Chip, well, we've got to get a goal. And... Yep. So they worked it out nicely here, Prospect, but there's Taylor again. Gets around the corner. It's a quality kick and a play on. So this is the difference. There's that centering kick. Yep. And they've got numbers, numbers galore. And juggled by Hartley. So Hartley within range, you'd think. He's around 25 metres out. It's been a good second quarter here from Prospect. They've had some entries inside 450. They've applied a lot of pressure. But Hartley, first decent opportunity. Drills it towards goal, but across the face in the minor. They've just got to keep battling away, Prospect, and they've shown they can get it forward, and a couple of couple of free kicks will go their way. And One of the things, Nathan, Prospect defenders haven't been under pressure this year, so let's see if they can... I should say, not Prospect, South, South defenders, I should right. say. Yeah. Let's put them under a bit of pressure and let's see what they can manage. Try and find something. Taylor gets taken down by two. That's the way to play. The Prospect brand, aggressive... Football kicks out towards a one-on-one -on -one contest. Richmond in there. It's been stolen back. It's delivered inside to the feet of the forwards for South. And tackle down was the question. And I have a ball up. It's the challenge of getting that outside the 450. In fact, that was Crawford who got tackled. Hartley. High ball to a one-on-one -on -one just in front of the goal square. Oh. At the back of the pack was roaming with West. Read that well. He's been dangerous a few mm. times. West. At ground level, trying to crumb a goal, but was unable to find the middle two sticks. See, that's <coughs> put his teammate under pressure. Defeat Crawford comes in. Handball back out to Harris. Rush ball. Running through was Hartley. And another pepper. So the difference in the two quarters is just the missed opportunities for South. The prospect is just giving it back by coming inside. They've just got to get that ball wide and out and, and get it across the line and at least get a stoppage. And it carried a little bit too out of the fence, don't they? Trying yeah, to get they a just, short they just tend to give it back to them. So You um, even see how they're set up here. Then. here this is a, a better option. It's a nice, nice long lead out here right. towards Lewis. He's been a good contributor. Backwards to Gillow. Rush ball as he's slung with a kick. Still falls towards Freeland. Tight in the pocket. Round one, Freeland. Steadies. And maybe needed to try and screw that around the corner. Unsuccessful. They had the right idea then. They uh, went a bit wider, as we've been saying. So, Yeah, Lewis is their target. They've got some numbers on the far side if they can get it out there. Well, they're trying something here, Prospect, just to navigate their way through what is a, a pretty congested piece of real estate 
The South just continuing with numbers around the ball, but that's been chopped off and Prospect would have chanced it. To go up towards half forward. Richmond can't get it. Matthews with a, a turnaround kick. That's good to Young. Freeland with a handball over the top. Now it's loose again. Oh, just a little too easy from Cottam. Has he got it? No, he doesn't add to his tally. Yet to kick a goal today. The leading goal kicker in the 12s Div 1 competition. Had a good opportunity then to snag one. The captain of the team, Milo Cottam. A few trophies coming. There's quality from Freeland, but then he ran out of space and ran into a couple of defenders from Prospect. Rush ball in by Matthews. High up inside Ford 50. Looked like Cotton there again. Taylor Rush. Ball out of that pack and through for another minor score. I'd just like to see a bit of urgency to run and spread from Prospect. Like when they get the ball, there's no one actually spreading the ground to like it's a nice big ground. Let's Maybe they just need to get on their bike and spread and give an option to the person with the ball. A bit about when you're getting beaten, sometimes you lose that motivation, don't you, to yeah. make that little bit extra effort? There's a little bit of that, but if they don't do it, then they're... Yeah, well, it's going to be... Yeah, it could be a long day for them. Absolutely. Matthews, another entry for him. It's been effective. Freeland, high out wide. Some players muscling in on each other. Dangerous spot to have the footy. Spinning around was Cotton. And he misses another opportunity. So he's got a couple of snaps here, Cotton, but he could have had four already. He can't quite register a goal. It's not happening for him. So five straight in the first quarter, eight behinds in the second quarter. This here is what I mean here. Everything's just stagnant. They're all just stagnant. They're just standing like. Now yeah, there's a little bit of movement out there. How they spread. At least a one-on-one -on -one. has an advantage to their teammate. Lewis is still the target down there. That's probably a little high, and the free kick does come. So Pets, another shot for him. Eddie. Looking overly confident now. He steadies. He turns it around. He's low ball, and he's to the near side for a minor. So 5-9, contrasting scoreboards each quarter for South. We've gone. One good thing, they've kept them at nine points this quarter. Prospect. Yeah, and they've had a better quarter. And they've, even pressure, gone, yeah. they've gone for themselves, but a lot of the shots on goal have been under pressure 20, 30 metres out or even a little closer, but they've been under pressure with their shots. They've only really had the one set shot in that last one. So it's been certainly been a better quarter up towards Dirk, and he's been competitive, falls into the hands of Philpot. Race on. Philpot versus Richmond. Richmond gets it in front of himself. Then just that rush ball is that pressure just continually coming. And a quality mark taken by Thomas Hartley. Hartley's delivery into the middle. A little hold then, Shepard. And he's been... No, he's all good. We're going to throw. Freeland in the ruck. He's up against Pruer. Pruer now gets to it. Gets his right boot quickly to it. Good contest as crashing in was Durkin. A little too easy was Cameron as he gets it up towards that dangerous spot. Flick out by Cotton. Another little flick out. That's their first, isn't it? Still in the air. Yes, West's got it. He's been elusive. He's wanted a goal, and now he finally manages it. It was eventually going to come. The damn, the damn wall was going to break. Nine points, and they finally got their first of the quarter. Yeah, so one goal nine for this quarter for South, but it's not necessarily reflective completely of the game. Prospect have been good. Let's we'll see if they get a centre clearance, so it's a Pretty commanding quarter. And we've got the second dome, 15 flat quarters here. So multiples at the moment for Young 
Mungo Parler and singles to West and Crawford. But it was a one goal nine quarter from South Launceston. And a dominant still. We had some entries though. We'll get some stats in a minute. We'll just mention a couple of the, the better players for South as Nathan Warren's going through some of his stats. Harry Taylor, the captain, was great. Ethan Philpott, I thought, was really involved. West popped up a couple of times. Cotton just wants to get that first goal going for him. Young was good. Hartley, so lots of players. Cameron and Freeland. And for Prospect, I thought Richmond still probably one of their better players. they trying hard. Durkin's being good in defence. Kakan on a few occasions being good. Toby Lewis and Colby Pruer at the ruck. But a bit of a narrative. And you, and you just get some stats, Nathan. I finally got some stats. He had me a bit confused there with his, the way he's trying it down. But, um, so the inside 50s. We saw Prospect actually had it in there four times, which was really good. Um, just couldn't convert on the scoreboard. And eight times for, for South. Uh, tackles are four to seven. Prospect's way. And the uh, the clearances is even again. So that's two quarters of even clearances. So Prospect, I think, just need to probably just, as I said, get the ball a little bit wider, try and get get it on their terms out, out in some space, and uh, let's see what they can do. So Interesting about the clearances, but I think the south clearances have been more effective, haven't they? When they get the ball in those contested area, they're able to find a teammate and lower their eyes a bit more, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So good quarter there from Prospect. They were certainly competitive. They managed to get the ball inside their 450. But south still... With the advantage, one goal nine. Quite a contrasting scoreboard to five goals straight. We'll have a break here on the Dib 1 12s grand final. And we'll be back to the second half action very, very soon. Road Safety Advisory Council and the Hawthorne Footy Club come together to reach our goal of zero deaths and serious injuries on our roads. But we can't do it alone. We need our support to help reach this goal. Slow down, buckle up, put your phones away and make sure to never drive when you're tired or after drinking. Righty-o, yeah, very short halves, quarters, whatever you want to call them. In the, uh, in the youth games, they, they only have a five-minute, I thought it was a seven-minute break, but it felt like about three and a half. <laughs> and one of the great things about being here at York Park, you always see someone burning something weird. What's the, it's brown smoke too coming from the uh, the Glebe, oh. the Glebe Island. Oh. That's ties, isn't it? <laughs> it's not, it's not shouldn't un, be burning whatever it is. Not uncommon for some weird stuff to happen over there. There's... The ball comes out the back in the first clearance to the Bulldogs. Going back in the fly to the ball. How's that North for a mark? mark? Gillow, he's looking for a short option. He's successful. Hartley. Going up towards half forward. Richmond holding it. He's been terrific. And then just lays on it and makes sure that it's going nowhere. Campbell's tried hard down there for Prospect all for the first for the first half. He's yeah, been he's, good. yeah, he's really good in the first quarter. He's, there's been a, a little bit of work for him to do. Cackett. 
So six nine forty five prospect zero zero zero. I have to mention the score a little bit more because we don't have have it up on the screen. So it's a commanding lead at the moment for prospect. Forty five points is the margin. And it might go up a little bit again as they've rushed it forward. West, who kicked a great goal in that oh. second quarter. Murphitz. How's that? He's enjoyed it, and his teammates have enjoyed it as well. And South have got one early. Yeah, I'm lucky. Campbell again, he had the ball in front of him, just ran over the top of it, and it allowed South just to get their hands on it and drive it in, and uh, Murphitt, Murphitt pounced on it. Yeah, and he, he had a... His teammates are very quick, just rushing down onto Murphy to get him a little bit of congratulations on kicking his first goal in this grand final. On a cracking day. Pruer in the middle. Yeah, it's it's turning out to be spot on. A few grounds a bit worn out at the moment around the north of the state. Northwest even worse. Mm. Some grounds up there have had a fair bit of water. Taylor misses it. There's a heavy contest on the ground as Matthews just copping one in the side of his ribs. Hope he's okay. It's taking a little while to just get up off the ground. Potts rushing through was Matthews. The prospect will knock it up towards their half forward line. There's a player over the top here. Well, how easy is that? Running around was Hedger, and he's got one. And they're calling it for too far, but surely not. The umpire's no. called it, and Prospect have got it. I think Rodney Dolding was in two minds there. I'm not sure he would have just been on I, his I feel the South players are complaining, but how can he complain? Seven goals, nine to one. Goal straight, and Prospect fans, family and supporters have got a little excited. Now the ball sat up nicely for him, and then he, and he backed himself and drove his legs out of the congestion. And well, that um, was the thing, wasn't it? He, he, got, he, he exploded out of that area yep. and got into some space. And suddenly, he turned around and Owen was trying to chase him down. Prospect got their first goal on the board here in the grand final. Well done. Crowd starting just to build here. We've got the the sunshine in the Hudson pocket which is at the city end of the ground. Hopefully that gives Prospect a bit of a spark now. Well, it was a good clearance. Pearl's gone back in the ruck again. There's Taylor gets first possession of it. He then finds Young. His kick is pretty effective. Rushes out towards Freeland. He looks for an inball handball to Kapala. He then's pressured really effectively by Durkin. It's Freeland again with that access to the footy first. That's Clever. Bit of composure. Pruer gets a bit of pressure, but still managed to work it up towards half four, just spilling it. We needed to just take possession of. <coughs> Prospect lifting. Get a, another score on the board here. Durkin can't win it over the top. Cackett. They hold it up, and that's exactly what they're able to do, and eventually we'll get a ball up. So 7 9 51. And Prospect with a goal a few minutes ago through Kobe Hedger, who kicked one on the run. Cameron with his fist to it. Pruer trying to get his foot to it. Hedger, Pruer, little tap off the ground. Richmond doesn't get a great bounce, but he'll, he'll still go back here. Richmond, he's good on ground level. There's that bit of bounce. Springs out, kicks it up towards half forward. Blair in there. Needs some teammates to come and help him. Players are converging on the football. On the edge of it is Hedger. He tries to win the footy. Cameron, good Campbell out. Gets it to a teammate. Then Richmond jumps in and pinches it again. Rushing around the Packers' hill. Gets dragged down. But I think I've heard a whistle, though. In fact, the, the no. whistle came after the fact and it's holding the ball. That player, that would nearly look like a sling tackle. But the umpire said, no, that's OK. That's a great grab. Clever by Young. Look at the hands. There it is. Cameron. Loping through the middle of the ground. Might have like, watch out here. He had a look around his shoulder too. And he realised he had just enough time to get rid of it. Didn't have time. Then caught him. And therefore it was okay. Young. Nice little context. Lewis off the ground. Just need a little shepherd. 
to help his teammate out as Shepard take it to the ground. Cameron with a rush ball. Let's see the way this one bounced. That's just a shove in the back right in front yeah, of the umpire. I think he was getting out. Oh, that's 50, isn't it? That is. A little bit of sloppy that football is. then. Yep. Just losing a little bit of calm there, Freeland. I think he was disappointed with the free kick and Prospect will surge it forward. Well, he was hanging on to him before he even had the ball, so... It's... He's been good, Durkin. <laughs> yeah, it was probably gave away two free kicks. So Durkin gets within 50. It's a low ball. Nearly a, a juggle mark taken by Cackett. They just need to set up behind the play here. Mm. And that was Hill that was there. That's a, probably a push or a hole, but no. Nah. OK, Hall said no. Nah. We'll just throw it up. Dalton just had that himself. Yeah, that's probably fair enough. There wasn't a lot of pressure, although... He's one of the smaller players on the field, is Baker. He's been good. He's been in the middle for a bit of the game. Pruill wins the ruck contest. Sweeping onto it first was Hartley. He's handball over the top to Freeland. Nice little passage here onto Taylor. There's that left, left boot of Taylor. It's effective kick. Durkin down first. Trying to get it was Lewis. Taylor again with a little quick ball inside the middle. This is where they look really good. There goes Young up towards... He's half forward line. Down on the ground level is Ross. Might be coming back again. It goes through the fingers of Young. Richmond trying to win possession of football. Young looked like he threw it. Good from this. has been a really good passage from been Prospect. Been a nice little build up. The pressure's been good really, hasn't it, Nathan, yeah, since quarter time? Yeah, been. Whatever the coach said to him at, quarter to, at uh, half time's work, they've well, come yeah. out a different side. Probably an even game at the moment. It's been great. Maybe a few changes. There's Another clearance, they're winning that one. That's nearly a juggled mark by West. He's had an exciting quarter. Kapala can't get down and get the footy. Young again, now it's been one out here. Richmond's going to get to it first. He looks up, he's got a teammate. That's an okay kick. It should favour a little pull of the jumper on Hedger. Falling over at the wrong time. He's going to get a free for a push. It may have just been there. Possibly a little lucky as Blair decides to bounce. He really runs into trouble. Looking for Pruitt at the back of the pack. But the only person there is Nick Cameron. Help, helpful when you're a couple of centimetres taller than the rest of you players in the field, isn't it, Nathan? That's oh, the case for Cameron a, and probably Freeland as well. Yeah, they're nice-sized boys, those are. And used the ball well. A fair bit of confidence. Gee, Young's been good at his feet. have been fantastic. Little contest inside half forward. Cotton will be desperate to get a goal. That's clever. Taps it to himself. He looked for a handle. Unselfish football. That's fantastic from Prospect. That is the lift. As Jed Marshall lays a wonderful tackle on the very dangerous, energetic Tyler Young. Great mark from Lewis. Be interesting. We might have to go contested marks. Maybe last quarter, Nathan. There's been a, been a dozen or so really good marks. Indecisive Shepard. Didn't help him at all. Just that's really Ooh. high. And that's a, Baker's ball. got a free. No, it just hasn't gone against Baker. So that was a, a real mismatch but Baker still chases him down that's good from him but after all that Pets has got it crowd's loving it yeah he's going up I'm, I'm going I'm going, going to his, I'm going to the square he's going for goal isn't he and eventually it's fisted through for behind it's been a good quarter of footy Nathan yeah it's, um, they're certainly having a dip this quarter prospect they've had some nice little passages just feel the energy level of prospect lifted and the crowd nice. yeah, they need to keep as well. coming this side just keep yep, take that little one harris's kick is well it was a right option from harris it just lacked a little bit of effort baker with a rush ball out richmond can't win it lewis is there as well cotton a little further from goal than what he's probably used to gopala can't win it now it's off the ground by harris Matthews looks up, tries to get it to a teammate. His handball was unsuccessful. Players are leaping for the footy. Gopala taps it just in front of himself. Oh, 
High ball inside, just reaching into the hands, and it's Freeland. So the captains, one of the co-captains should say, I think there's three or four captains in this side. The leadership group, and one of them. Yeah, there is. Os, Os, well, that's what we've got in the program. There's four captains. I'm not sure yeah. all four are actually captains. Anyway, Freeland, first opportunity for South to score, and he's done a great job. He kicks his well first goal, and the first goal in this second half for South. And I reckon if you had a said that, we're more than halfway through this quarter, Nathan, midway through that first quarter, they take nearly two-thirds of the quarter to score. You'd be a little surprised. It's been a good quarter from Prospect. Yeah, a goal, Prospect. please. Prospect were good early, yeah. They, um, Actually, in fact, two goals they've kicked South Lot in this quarter. They composed themselves a little bit, but um, just the South, the talent on the, across the park for South starting to get on top there at, at the end, and they composed themselves. And um, Now, one chat I want to have about while well, we have a bit of a break here, mm. best um, chips and gravy across the NTJFA venues. I know we've been talking about this a little bit. I'm not a chips and gravy man. No, no. I've told you I'm a salad roll. No, I know, I'm but I want, I want to talk. I want to talk chips and gravy. Okay. Um, I actually know the person coming in next, Wilders, will want to talk. He, chips yeah, and gravy. he'll talk chips. He'll and talk gravy. chips and gravy. Yeah. But I might have to go wander down to that North Launceston Canteen soon and just <laughs> see what it's like. <laughs> no, I'm a salad roll man. Mate. Yeah, oh, you still reckon yeah. it's Launceston salad rolls? Yeah, Launceston the best. Footy Club do very good salad rolls. So the, we'll try and get back to the footy. My camera was taken without it. I felt he was okay. Kapala takes it. He initially looked for the handle. He's a little too close to the player in the mark. And that impacted his kick. Still one. Taylor. That's holding the footy. Great work from Baker. He's been pinned a few times, Harry, holding the ball. Yeah, maybe trying to do a little bit too much. Not sure. It's out towards Harris. Yeah, Taylor's, he gets to it a lot, doesn't Ooh. he? It's a decent contested mark. Yeah, he does. He gets his hands on it a lot. So They're well represented, South Launceston, in the NTJFA finals. They've got five teams that threw across the eight age groups and divisions. Dirk and missed it. South will go forward again. Little shove in the back. Oh, that's good. That's, that's fantastic mark by Oliver Ross in defence. Haven't seen a lot of him yet. His kick's OK. He's trying to find... Marshall on that out of flank. Harris looks up and gets it out to a teammate. But South are well set up behind play here. Cameron's got it. Well, Cameron just looked up and had Philpot. They had a good first quarter. Philpot chips again. It's a lovely ball out towards Cotton. It's not working his way at the moment. All those goals in the main season for Cotton. Well, that's good. <laughs> it looked like it could have been turned over. Richmond. Nice mark. That's a great mark from Taylor. It's certainly not the tallest player out there. And quickly, there's a win. I think nearly got paid holding the ball again. Then Taylor, that's a win for Richmond. Gee, that's great play. It's probably close to the highest possession winner. That's probably a fraction around the shoulder. Yeah, Richmond's probably the highest possession winner it's out been there good on the ground for, for prospect. prospect. It's been very good. He's got a lot of tenacity about him. That's a good position for the defender to take the mark, and that's the second good mark for Ryan Harris in the space of about 90 seconds. Lewis, who's been one of their better players. He's also trying to... I like this. I mean, yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah, he's having a go. But he's trying to find some lateral movement. It was a good cut-off mark. And once again, they're setting up well in defence here. Now it's been picked up. Slight towards goal. Oh. Has he got it? Yes. Milo Cotton, is it? Cotton finally gets one. Oh, no, it's Will. Oh, it was Will Cotton. Number Sorry. 16. Sorry. Yeah, that's Cotton. No, that was a Cotton goal. So Sorry. Finally, they're away. And right on the buzzer at three a quarter time. Milo Cotton, 55, I think, for the season, or 57 goals. Finally got his first goal. So there's a score. 9, 10, 64 to 1 goal, 6. So that quarter saw three goals go to the right-hand side of the screen for Prospect. Uh, sorry, for South Launceston. And Prospect with their only goal. That was Hedger. So multiple goal kickers to Young. Gopal and then singles to West. Cotton with that last goal. Murphy, Crawford and Freeland, as I mentioned. Hedger with that running goal midway through that third quarter. Got some emotion and belief here for Prospect's Hawks. And we're to our stats man.
Well, it helps if I look at the right side of the board. I'm telling you, Cack, it is 16. He's actually I do, got problems. Don't worry, mate. I do it all the time. That's fine. Uh, so our stats have come through from Ryan. Um, inside 50s, 10 to 10 to south and 5 for, for prospects. So they were better early early parts of that quarter, prospect. And obviously uh, hit the scoreboard as well. Tackles 5 to 6 in, in way of prospect. Uh, uncontested kicks 2-1 to one in the way of south and uh, the clearance is 3-2 to two. so clearance is again uh, uh, reasonably even um, but in south in south well, in south but the dam- so. once again damage nature so the, the ability to actually gain ground from a clearance through run yep. legs has been what's been really effective but a terrific quarter I'm just going to mention a few of the better prospect players that I thought have really lifted in that quarter Clancy Richmond's been there by far their best player we saw Hedger evolve Durkin's been magnificent off halfback Kacken on a few occasions been really good. Toby Lewis has been outstanding. Shepard as well. So they've certainly had enough players engaged and involved. Yeah. They've been under a lot of pressure from the smalls of South Monsess and that Taylor's run. But you mentioned Taylor's been caught holding the ball a few times. So they've been really good at their defensive pressure. It's been a fine effort from Prospect for the ability for South Monsess to score and hit them on the scoreboard. It's been the big difference. We're going to have a break here on the stream and we'll be back for the last quarter action. We've got the 14 Div 2 Boys Grand Final come out. Looking forward to that one. Last stanza for the 12s Div 1 for season 2023. 1964 South Launceston. Prospect 1, straight 6. Looking forward to the next one. Longford a pretty pump. Aaron Roberts, Nathan Warren calling the last quarter action. Nathan just got a call from his son, something around a car. Yeah. He's okay. Smoke coming out's not a good yeah, sign, is it, for a car? Simon, you just had a service day to make oh, the story. This is teenagers, and you've got yeah. teenagers. And, Oh, I'd love to say some other words, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. here we go. The Devils game. Did you say this on soon, isn't it? What's the score uh, in the yeah, Devils I'll game? Yeah, score on that. Here we go. We've got access to technology with Galore. We've got a, some handwritten. We've got the score coming up. And we're away in the last quarter. Pru in the ruck. He's up against Cameron, who probably won that one. Richmond at the back of the pack. He, he gets it out. Now the surge comes from, from south. The handle out to Matthews. Gets it on towards Taylor. Drives it up towards about 50 metres out. Brilliant little build-up and a great mark taken by Hartley. He's had two or three sensational contested marks. How are we going the Devils there? Uh, we're down by six points at the moment. So, important game for the boys. Third Adams. quarter to uh, set three minutes into the third quarter. So, yeah, it's a must-win for us. So, Hartley snuck it back. I think he's got it. Yes, he does. So, Tommy Hartley with the opening score in this last quarter. And Prospect are marching on 10 10 70. So, technically, we're at the end um, at the mercy rule now. We are if we do play it in a grand final. And I don't know what the, the bylaw states, but it might not be, it might just be for roster matches. Possibly, we'll, we'll find out. We'll, we'll see what we'll, Trudy Rundle's we'll, got him playing. Well, well, Trudy and the anti JFA board are all here today, busily wandering around doing their stuff and making sure we finish the season off as in the best position possible. Cameron. Got the ball first and tried to handle it away. Unsuccessful. Got Harris in the middle for Prospect. Had a good few minutes. There's another player who's been really good in Toby Lewis. Bit of a dance one way and then the other. Harris and then Baker. Baker hit hard. Then the retrieving kick by Young. Only a scoot ball out. Now it's back out to Lewis. Cameron. Pruitt. 
Those two have been battling hard in the ruck for a large amount of today. Matthews to it first, then on to it was Young. And Cameron just in the right spot and reefs it away from Toby Lewis. So 10-10-70 to one goal six. Prospects goal kicker Hedger in that early part of the third term. Lewis. He's tried hard all day, Lewis. Yeah, he's been fantastic. Good pressure here from Prospect. They're still out there to play the game. Matthews finally releases it with a, a short kick under some pressure. Durkin at it. Hats it out of the air as the ball flies up. They're running there. They've got a stat. <laughs> That's a clever kick. Out towards White. Gets around Richmond a little too easily. Drives it up towards half forward. The ball down at the feet of Murphy. Durkin. Shrugs it off. Brilliant from him. The ball's been dropped by Matthew, so got to go back and get his own footy. Shepard. Sloppy at the moment. His players are a little fatigued as Gillo. Other people might be fatigued as the runners from used to all this space the either. The trainers trying to get out. The, the trainers and the runners, everyone, the umpires, yeah. the whole lot and lot of. <laughs> got a, grounds a, than they're used to. A few more Ks to get in the legs. The barrel up towards the pocket. Great unselfish football to Taylor. Taylor gets around one, swings back onto his right and kicks a brilliant goal. And probably deserved that one, but it's extremely unselfish play. And Taylor yeah. gets his first. Yeah, Prospect just needs to keep, go back to what they did in that third quarter, at the start of the third quarter anyway, and just, um, yeah, just, just that uh, pressure pressure ball, get it to space, try and get some legs on it, take some grass, get inside 50 and see what happens. Looks like we're going to have a throw up. Not a mercy rule. So yeah. it looks like no mercy rule in a final. No. It's probably okay, isn't it? No. The mercy rule coming in it. It's um, been suggested it's a rule for junior football, so that's everything up to under 11s as a national rule. It's just been trialled this year in the 12 boys. Just the discrepancy between the top and the bottom teams is is pretty high. I don't think anyone wants to win. No one wants to win by 120 points, do they? No, no one wants to lose by 120 right. points. So regardless of what people think of it, in the end, it's about people getting a kick of the ball and feeling like they're involved and having success that keeps them in the game. It's the participation. Yeah, because we want them to be a participant, a participant as, as an adult. Ball's on the ground. It's been just chipped along. There's a bit of dashing from the side was Matthews. Cack it with the handball out. He, Matthews again. There's the weave and speed of Taylor. He goes in and takes on one of the more fancy prospect players. That's a horrible bounce. For Potts, it went nowhere near him in the end. Crew up with a bit of brute force. And the gates it forward. And you get a couple more numbers around this prospect. Gupala yeah. is playing off half back at the moment, so they have made some changes. Needs to get a fist on that. Only a 50 metre penalty. That yeah, was not the best from Lewis. Young would have had seven or eight kicks in that third quarter. Spills out towards Philpot and he looks up. He's got plenty of space, and then for some reason he just does try to do a drop kick. He's not then, he, then he goes and boots at 25 metres off the ground. <laughs> Bit of a different way of getting the ball forward. Thrown out is Harris, and now the rush ball is moved on by Lewis. See what he does here. Second opportunity. It's round one. That's a that's a, that's a good driving that's a kick. One. And that's an excellent pass. If it was the case, looking for Crawford. So they've moved a few players around just to give some other opportunities. Young. Let's see if Prospect can find a way to get another score on the board. Had a little bit of forward entry. There's that pressure again. Yeah, they're just, just swarming, aren't they? Tenacious at it, aren't they? 
And a great effort then from <coughs> Cruz Potts for South Bonnie. The only team, only club in Australia with two people called Cruz. <laughs> so they want a free kick. Oh, man, a bit of an injury there with the way he's tried to boot that ball through. It looks a little sore. He's pretty hard to take down. He's one of the bigger lads on the ground. Toby Lewis has had plenty of it for prospect. Yeah, hard to work out who's sort of best on, isn't it, Nathan? I'm yeah, curious what the umpires might go with. Yeah, well, they do the voting. It's not us from up here, but um, we obviously have an opinion with it. But um, there's a number for South. Yeah, there's a, there's a few of them that have been yeah. very good. Probably no one. The last game, it felt like Crawford won it, didn't he, for Delarain? He was, oh, he was, he was his second last, half was phenomenal. Half was, his his yeah. on-ball work and utility and his game-winning goal was dominant. And that's pretty clever by Murphitz. But the kick was a straight to the left. But this team, very even side, aren't they, South? All the way down. I mean, the Sodi players have had touches and five or six, seven, eight possessions. It's not a bad effort on a big ground in yeah, another 12 probably, one. It's probably tough for their defenders. I think they've rotated a few th back through there, so they're not just keeping them down back all day. They're sort of rotating their players through there. But um, when the scoreboard's reflective as it is, it's... Um, uh, hard for those defenders to sort of get themselves into the game. Yeah, they've moved the players around a bit, which is good from coaching staff at South. Oh, that's nice gutsy. Tyler Young's had a brilliant second quarter, second half, I should say, an unselfish play from him. And Thomas Hartley's been outstanding as well. He's going to drill it. That's not his best disposal from Hartley. And chopped off. Lewis is going to bring it up the line. It's been a good second half. So the first quarter, five goals since then. Only six goals to South Monsest in the next two and a half quarters. So it's been a good competitive effort from Prospect. But at the moment, it's nearly the identical scoreline to the second semi-final a couple of weeks ago. So it was always going to be yeah, tough. 70, 70 points, was it? Yeah, I think it was 70 points. Or, yeah, called close. It might have been 66 or something like that, but it was a very similar scoreline. So they've got it's good effort, I suppose, in some ways from South on a, on a larger venue to be able to get a score like this. We've gone nearly 10, but five and a half to go. So a great season. It rarely go through a season undefeated in any competition. Austin Freeland in the ruck still. Toby Lewis up against it all day. Has held his hell, head held high and had to be one of the top two or three players on the ground. Yeah, it's a great, great shout. Like, it doesn't matter what, what competition you're playing in, to go through undefeated and, and um, any aspect is, is fantastic. So, hopefully, though, these players, South Lonnie and North Lonnie, are the two dominant numbers wise for junior and youth footy in the north of the state. South Lonnie. I think it's five teams represented. Not only none this year, actually. Probably a bit of no, a different... None. No. Bit of, to be fair, a little bit of a different strategy from both clubs, from my understanding. That's gone wide. Taylor to it first. Pressure from Hedger. The kick's into a dangerous spot. Durkin in there. He wins it and takes it to the ground. We've got a stoppage right on the tip. Austin Freeland trying to win it. Young down near his toes. Taylor picks it up in the pocket. Oh, that would have been a ripper. Just some good goals in the last game. That would have been one of the better ones. If yeah, oh, it's still the last game. I think Charlie Demden's from the pocket. Yeah, that was yeah, a ripper. And this end was a, was a great goal. Yeah, we saw several. Crawford's late goal. Yeah. Dendon, Dendon kicked a couple. Let's see. Some weary legs, but they're still trying extremely hard. Prospect Hawks. Ryan Harris has had a good second half. Found his way into the game and has been... Now he's got his arms gesticulating, going, who am I going to kick it to? <laughs> he's got it straight to Hartley. High ball from Hartley. He's trying to get the over the top to Freeland. Couldn't get his hands on the football. Ooh. That's nearly a free kick given away as a... shoved down front on was Lewis. 
One on three. This will be interesting to see if they can neutralise it. No, Hartley. Hartley again. He's had a good pack. Brilliant. And he looks up. He's waiting for something, Hartley. He now gets a couple of leads inside the Ford 50. Looking for Young. Can't get it. Didn't have the foot right in front of the ump, I don't reckon he realised that he didn't have the play. That was a little sloppy from Freeland. And now Freeland's saying, you're in the wrong spot. You've got to go around. So Freeland doing some umpiring and coaching at the same time for the opposition. So 11-11, 77 one goal straight six. Prospect with the considerable advantage as we imagine would be the case leading into the game. It's now dribbled out of bounds. What are you going to do? You're not a mechanical person, are you, Nathan? What are you going to do about your son's car? Sort about himself, Aaron. He's, is he 20 yet? 19. What's he, 19? 19. 19, okay. He can sort that out. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrific mark. That's unselfish footy again. Hartley again. Hartley gets to 25, 30 metres. He drills it up towards one of his teammates. It's been dropped by Phil Pot around the corner. Another one missed. It's... A high number on that right-hand side for Prosper, for South now. 12 points, considering they didn't kick a point until halfway through the second quarter. Correct. It's down the other side this time. So they been hard to get it out. And not, those repeat entries has been the, the real challenge. Well, they're just getting peppered. Murphy now comes up towards oh, goal, and he's also missed. Ooh. So, season's nearly done for a minute and a half left, and some, I think some celebrations needed for Prospect. What's been a, a good under-12 season? Them. Oh, congratulations to him for, for getting this far. Then. Because in any other season, I'd imagine this brand of footy from Prospect and this, this team would certainly be on it. But the South got a little generational group. Uh, they've you'd been, think they've got a very through, good junior you? program, South Launceston. Well, this particular, to, the, the, to... yeah, this particular group they've got going is, is if they move through the club like we expect them to, and people like Brad Cottam and others move through the coaching, yep. then that's only going to help their footy club. Lewis in there. Out towards West. That being worked off, and that's good from Shepard. He got thrown off the football and squeezed a kick away. Cameron down to it. Topoke off the ground. Pruer picks it up in the tackle. So often you look up and Pruer's got two or three people hanging off him. It's been a, a tough old day for him. Oliver. Quick little kick out by Petz who's moved back. Rushing off half back is Ethan Philpot. His kick's really effective to Taylor. He moves it further afield. This is a nice build up. Onto Murphy who had a shot on goal about 90 seconds ago. Right in towards the pocket. And out of bounds. And that'll nearly be the end. So it's going to be a South Launceston Bulldogs grand final, a premiership, and their first in what could be several for this junior football club. And it's South Bonnies as expected, 11 13 79 to Prospect One Goal Straight Six. Well done to the South Bonnie Junior Footy Club. But congratulations also to Prospect. Their last three quarters, particularly their second half, was outstanding. Just a couple of the goal kickers Tyler Young with a couple, Gapala with a couple, and singles to Taylor. West, Cottam, Hartley, Murphitt, Crawford and Freeland and Cody Hedger with the only goal for Prospect. We'll have a look at some stats, but there's our scoreboard. 11, 13, 7, 9, one goal straight. Six, very similar score to the second semi. Well done to South. Nathan, give us a narrative before we have a break for the next game. Yeah, well, tough day for Prospect, but um, as I said before, they've, they've done really well to, to make the grand final. I still think they had some good, good performances in a uh, lot I've mentioned Hamish Campbell a bit down back. I thought he tried hard. Um, Toby Lewis, I think, was probably their best player for the day. Clancy Richmond as well was very good um, forward, and I think he went behind the ball. Oh, sorry, he was behind the ball, and Ryan Harris, number two. And then for, for uh, I think, uh, best in my mind, best on ground, I thought Harry Taylor was probably the dominant player on the ground, closely followed by Hartley. I thought number 19, Hartley, was really good, good in patches and... Um, uh, Milo Cotton got his hands on it, got a one, did you say one goal? He, yep. he got, probably got about had one about goal, five, seven. I think he had five <laughs> shots yeah, on goal. Yeah, so, uh, and Pets had a few shots on goal as well. So, well done. Congratulations to South Launceston uh, for the Premiership. Under some stats, just quickly, we've got uh, 12 inside, 50 to zero in that last quarter, so it was quite reflective of, of the quarter. Tackle seven to two in um, South's favour. Uncontested kicks was one. One to South, none to, to Prospect, and the and the clearances were, were two all. So, all in all, 
um, yeah, tough day at the office for, for Prospect, but, um, you know, they unfortunately beaten by a far better side in South Rochester. Yeah, look, a really engaging game of football and an expansive space of York Park. It was a South Gloucester grand final victory. They remain undefeated. One of those rare feats that I'm sure they'll remember. The under-12 Division 1 Premiers, South Launceston Junior Footy Club defeating Prospect. 11-13, 79 Prospect. One goal straight six. We'll hear all from the presentations. We've got the Div 2-14 boys coming up. Nathan, thank you for you, Thanks, your help the last couple of games. Um, enjoy the rest of the day. You need to um, tow a car. Good luck <laughs> with that. Sort of car out. Aaron Roberts, no, Nathan Warren signing out for this one. We'll be back for the 14 Div 2 Grand Final around about 20 minutes. President. Firstly, we'd like to thank everyone for attending today. We really appreciate your support. We'd also like to thank our major sponsor, IGA. We have Travis Allen here tonight, today to look after us. To our teams, well done. Great day, great game. Unfortunately, Prospect just didn't get there today, but you put in a mighty effort and we're really proud. Firstly, we'd like to say thank you to our umpires without you we actually don't have a game so we really appreciate it and we would like to ask Hamish Walker to come forward and accept the medallions for the grand final today thanks for your effort we really appreciate it next we'd like to ask Travis to come forward and present our best and fairest for our under 12 Div 1 players. So our runner-up this year is, sorry, Colby Pruer from Prospect. Well done. No, he doesn't want to say anything, but I'm sure he thanks his team and his parents and his coaches. <laughs> Just want to stand here, mate, and we'll um, take a photo in a minute. So our winner for our this year's Best and Fairest goes to Harry Taylor from South Launceston. Well done, mate. Do you want to say a few words? No. Again, no words, but he thanks his team, his coaches and his parents. We'll just grab a photo, guys. Do you want to stand with Travis and get a photo? <laughs> Well done, mate. Thank you. So our next 
award goes to our best on ground and we would like to congratulate South's number 19, Thomas Hartley. Well done. So today, unfortunately, there is a, always a loser in a game, but Prospect, you have had an amazing season. And I hope you remember today and bring it back for next year and know that feeling and you want it that little bit more. You've had a great game and you put it your best out there and you've left it on the field. And that's all we can ask as like an association. So well done to you. I'd like to ask... Sorry, Damien Harris to come forward and say a few words. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to thank Brett. Uh, I'd like to congratulate Brett and the under 12 South. You've been the best team all year and you proved it today, so well done. To my boys, we've improved every match we've played and today you tried your heart out and that's all we ask and you had a great game so well done cheers thank you and to south you've been the best team all year and had an amazing year and it's been great to see you i bet your legs are tired from running on this big field but you have done an amazing job well done so i'd like to ask brad cotton to come forward and say a few words Thank you. Firstly, I'd like to thank Damien and the Prospect boys. Um, you boys really developed well over the season and um, I know it's always hard to come up against a team um, that is a challenge, but you did yourselves proud again today and um, stick together, uh, come back next year and um, we look forward to plenty more contests against the Hawks. So well done boys. Congratulations. Um, to the NTJFA, um, the tireless work that you do to ensure that the great game uh, can continue at junior level uh, and the, the, the amount of hours that's put into the competition, um, it's, a, it's a tough task but you do it so well. Um, so on behalf of the club we'd like to thank the NTJFA for making um, the competition possible. So thank you. To our club, to Sarah, our outgoing president, um, our gold class president, uh, the amount of hours and time, tireless work that she puts in to our football club, um, we can't thank her enough um, for the dedication and commitment that she's shown to the club and um, we, um, we wish her all the best uh, next year and thank her and the football club for providing um, the great opportunity up at South. So thanks Sarah, thanks to the club. To the coaches and the support staff, uh, it doesn't happen easily and as are all the adults here, uh, boys, it's about volunteers and people giving up their time because we know what a great game football is. For us, our focus as a team is about mates and memories and uh, this year we've um, certainly uh, had some great times together. And, and memories that will last um, a lifetime. So uh, congratulations to the boys on a, on a fantastic season. So well done, boys. And now we're going to do the, the medals. OK. We'll start with Alex. Cruz. Brex, Archie, Travis, Brax, Brylan, Matthias, Ethan, Kingston,
Tyler, Tommy, Ethan, Levi, Jack, and our four leaders, Fridge, Austin, Nick, Milo, and Harry. We also have one of our players who's actually in Scotland at the moment. He got dragged over there and his sister's dancing. Um, so, Sally McQuestion, who's not here with us today, but I know he'll be watching. So, to Sally McQuestion, we'll take one for, for Sally. Thank you. Yes, assistant coaches, Nathan Cameron, Danny Freeland, Swans and then our Div 1 final with South and Prospect again. Thank you. Road Safety Advisory Council and the Hawthorne Footy Club come together to reach our goal of zero deaths and serious injuries on our roads. But we can't do it alone. We need our supporters to help reach this goal. Slow down, buckle up, put your phones away and make sure to never drive when you're tired or after drinking. 